Hello everyone, this is Monica with Advice to Think Twice. Um, and I'm gonna do the tarot portion of uh, the horoscopes for the month of July. So we're doing uh, love tarot forecasts. And the decks that I'm using, if you're interested, are the Romantic Tarot deck, and also the Romance Angels Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. Um, what it, we're gonna do is a week by week view of the month. Uh, with some additional advice uh, for each sign and if you follow my channel you know that I like to focus on the cards and I like to show you the cards because I think they're beautiful and so you're gonna see me tilt the camera down um, so that you can just focus on the cards and um, and the messages that come through okay so um, hopefully these are gonna these are gonna add to uh, Stormy's horoscopes and hopefully everything's gonna come together in a beautiful way and make sense for everyone um, so thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy um, the readings and I hope you have an awesome month. Take care. Hello Leo and welcome to your July 2016 Love Tarot Forecast. So thank you for being here and I hope that you enjoy this reading and you find it useful. Um, so what we have going on for you in the month of July 2016. It is a month of going with the flow of adapting of making things the best they can be okay doing the best you can with what you have okay um the overall theme of the month for you is the magician and the magician is a major arcana so it talks about a new beginning okay or new stages within a relationship um it may talk about romance and magic surrounding your love life, okay, during the month. And it may also talk about um, doing the best you can with what you have, okay, using what you have um, available to make the best of a situation and adapting, okay, and going with the flow and getting creative with things. And it can also talk about um, not trusting a situation or not trusting a person or feeling like someone's being... Um, Decept um, deceiving okay someone is trying to deceive you or trying to uh, pull the wool over your eyes or um, distract you somehow okay or they're not being completely truthful with you this month either way I feel like your intuition is going to get you through everything your intuition is going to tell you who you can trust and who you should walk away from who is wasting your time and also um, I feel like your creativity um, and your courage, your strength is really going to help you move forward and make the best of difficult situations, okay? Um, this is not to say that you're going to have a difficult month, okay? Not at all. It's just to say that you're going to feel very confident and very powerful and no matter what happens, you're going to make it work, okay? And that's really, really good. So in the first week, we have the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands talks about okay so for some of you this is talking about a conquest so this is talking about someone who um, is in it for the game someone who is just trying to win your heart but they don't really have a plan with it after afterwards so the knight of wands is someone who is kind of here today and gone tomorrow they're in it for the fun for the passion for the thrill but they're not really ready to settle down they're not ready for a relationship they're not really interested in taking it to the next level okay it's just for the thrill so I feel like in the first week, maybe that's why the Magician card show, showed up in your overall energy. Because in the first week, you may be dealing with such a character where, you know, they're not really looking for anything, but they just want to have a good time. They just want to have fun in the moment. And obviously, if you want to, um, you know, just have fun and enjoy yourself and not think about where is this going, then embrace this and have, have fun with it. But I feel like you should, you know, pay attention and keep your guard up and also... Um, don't lose your head with anything, okay? Because with the magician, you can easily get caught up and um, kind of, you know, get caught up in the moment, go with the flow, and then there you are falling in love with someone, and then they're gone the next day. So just be mindful of that, okay? Just uh, always check in with your intuition, okay? If it feels right, then go with it. And if something feels off and you're seeing some red flags go off, then pay attention okay and see what happens just kind of hold back don't go all in in a situation um for others of you the knight of wands talks about travel um and maybe you meet someone on a trip this could be you taking a trip okay maybe for work for career for personal projects um 
because it, it is the Knight of Wands, so it represents elements of fire um, and fire signs. So Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And so you could be taking a trip. So you could be away from your partner or you could be um, traveling and you're meeting a new person on your trip, okay, if you're single. Um, whatever happens, just be mindful, okay? I feel like with the magician, things are not always what they seem. But again, your intuition is going to tell you this, so I'm not worried about that. Um, for some of you, you could be moving in with your partner in the first week of the month, okay? Because the Knight of Wands is also a card that talks about change in residence. So you could be traveling with your partner or you're moving in with your partner, okay? Or you're buying a house together, your, your place together. But there's definitely things moving forward in a relationship, okay? Things moving to the next level in a relationship. And it depends where you are right now um, for you to determine what that is for you, okay? What the next level looks like. For the second week, we have the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords is a card that talks about a need for balance, um, balancing out the mind and the heart. Um, it talks about potentially overanalyzing a situation, um, thus making it very, very confusing and very complicated. The Two of Swords is a card that talks about calming the mind, okay, a need to calm the mind because I feel like your thoughts are running away with you, okay, so around the second week, there's something that you're not sure about and you're trying to get sure about it, okay, so around the second week, I feel like if you are traveling or your partner is traveling around the second week, you're kind of stuck in this place of you're on your own and what do you do, okay, how do you spend that time and then maybe you know, your heart misses your partner, but your mind is starting to play tricks on you and tell you that, um, I wonder what they're doing. I wonder if they're, you know, talking to someone else. I wonder if someone else is hitting on them or I wonder when they're going to be back. And it's that feeling where you get caught up in that moment and a day feels like a lifetime. And it feels like, you know, they're away for two days, but it feels like they're never coming back. And, and you can get kind of anxious and panicky with this kind of, of energy. So around the second week, whatever is bugging you, just try to calm the mind, okay? Try to focus on balance. No matter what you're dealing with, focus on peace, okay? Find your peace of mind. Um, meditation would definitely help you, okay? Would help calm you down. Doing relaxing activities is just definitely going to help you calm down. Um, the Two of Swords is nothing to be worried about. It's just trying to make you aware of the fact that you shouldn't overanalyze the situation because there's nothing good that can come of it, okay? It's just getting you all worked up or afraid or anxious or stressed out, um, and that's it. Nothing positive can come of it. And whatever situation you're dealing with, I feel like you can't change it anyway with the Two of Swords. You're just supposed to hang tight or wait or um, be patient with something or with someone, so there's no point in overstressing, okay, you know, regarding that situation. But the Two of Swords is definitely talking about being stuck in a place where you're at a crossroad, okay? What do you do? So I don't know if this is um, you deciding whether or not you're ready for a new relationship or deciding, you know what, I'd rather be on my own and focus on myself. The Two of Swords is also a card that talks about blocking the heart, so protecting the heart, okay, and keeping people at a distance. So maybe you're meeting someone and you feel like you want to, you know, put your foot down and say, you know what, this person is wasting my time and they're not really interested in my heart, so I'm just not going to give it to them. So I'm just going to distance myself from this person. And then you're stressing over the fact of, did you do the right thing? Did you make the right decision? So it could be, you know, that could be a way that this plays out. And for others of you, I feel like you're stuck in a place where you don't know what to do to pass the time. Maybe you're not with your partner, maybe there's a sense of separation or they're away for business or you're away for business or education or personal projects, whatever the reason. Um, and the Two of Swords is telling you, you know, don't run away with yourself. Don't stress over things. Don't overanalyze things. Um, allow for time to pass and they're going to be right back and things are going to be okay. Um, and focus on balance. No matter what you do, focus on balance, peace and harmony. And that's going to really get you through the week. So whatever you're struggling with around the second week when it comes to your love life, focus on peace and harmony and 
clarify that situation, simplify that situation, okay? Just look at the facts. If you really have to make a decision and you're struggling with it, look at the facts and also factor in your intuition, but make sure it's your intuition and not your fears and your doubts, okay? Around the third week, we have the Four of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles is a card that talks about boundaries, um, and again, having your walls up, having your guard up, uh, keeping people at a distance, holding on to what you have, not opening up, all right, being afraid to open up, being afraid to share, um, and also it, it talks about kind of holding on to what you have, not allowing for distractions, not allowing people to kind of take you off your path. This is you holding on to a situation, holding on to a relationship, holding on to a person, holding on to your plans, okay? Sticking to the plan. Um, I also feel that for those of you who are single and you're dealing with this person who's just in it for the game, in it for the thrill, and so around the second week you're protecting yourself and you're keeping people at a distance and you're locking your heart away because uh, you really feel like, you know, they're not interested in your heart. I feel like around the third week with the Four of Pentacles, there's an earth sign that shows up for you. And earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And they're really trying to get your attention, but I feel like this is someone who's not going to be forceful. They're not going to be pushy. Um, they will allow you to take your time, okay? They understand, they see that you have your guard up, and they're really looking at you and trying to find a way in, okay? They're trying to find a way to get your attention. Um, but with the Four of Pentacles, I feel like you're loosening up a little bit, okay? So it's with the Two of Swords, it can be a moment of anxiety and fear and um, confusion, okay? But with the Four of Pentacles, it's, you know, you're feeling confident, you're feeling secure. You have your guard up, but you're not afraid of what might happen, okay? Let's put it that way. And so there's definitely someone showing up for you around the third week and trying to catch your eye, trying to get your attention. And this person may be um, a nerd sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. And in the fourth week, we have the Seven of Pentacles. And the Seven of Pentacles is... Um, overcoming a time of waiting, okay? The, the wait time is over with the Seven of Pentacles. It is overcoming a time when you've had to be patient, okay? It's the end of having to be patient. It's the end of waiting. So I feel like for those of you, well, if you're in a relationship or if you're single, either way, I feel like you start the month with either your partner going away or there's some sort of separation or the, the person that you're interested is going away, interested in is going away. There's some sort of, of distance between the two of you. Maybe communication is kind of quiet for a while and that scares you, okay? That gives you some doubts and some fears. But I feel like you're really getting yourself together and you're holding your own, okay? Around the third week, you're getting yourself through the month. You know that that you know that you know that things are okay you're feeling confident again you're calming the mind and so around the fourth week i feel like your partner's coming back because it's um a rendezvous it's a coming back together okay it is the end of this wait time so for some of you i feel like you're really dealing with some separation between you and your partner this month and you're really having to make the best of the situation you're having to figure things out okay what do you do while you're on your own and so there, there's, there's a bit of adjusting that you have to go through around the second week because, you know, they're leaving in, in the very first week potentially. And so there's a bit of um, adjustment time where you have to figure things out. You have to find your footing. You have to find your balance again. And you're moving past that, okay, and you're, you're feeling calm again and confident and, um, and just okay with the situation and you know that they're going to come back and you're already feeling better and so by the end of the month they're coming back and you have this reconnection you have this reunion and it was worth it okay the wait time paid off and you're finally able to um, come back together for those of you i feel like you're choosing to be single this month you're single and you're happy to be single Okay, with the magician, you may be dealing with some sort of player, some sort of uh, 
person who's just in it for the thrill in the first week but you're definitely holding your own you're keeping them at a distance with the two of swords you may have some inner conflict okay because um you feel like you should you know go with the flow and give this person a chance but at the same time your intuition is really pulling you in the opposite direction and they're telling you that um it's telling you that this is not worth it and you're just going to get hurt and they're not in it okay for the long run they just want to thrill and so just hold back okay so you may be going through this kind of inner conflict around the second week but i feel that around the third week you get your confidence back okay you get your confidence back and no matter what's going on and no matter who's around you're trying to get your attention you realize that you know what i'm just going to focus on my career i'm just going to focus on my personal projects i'm going to focus on my finances because i was doing so well until now and i've got a lot on my plate with the magician things are just booming for me this month and so i'm just gonna focus on myself okay and then with the seven of pentacles you are going back to working on yourself you're going back to um taking your time assessing things making sure that you know what you want making sure that you know what direction you want to take in terms of love life let's see what else For those of you who are moving in with your partner in the beginning of the month and things are uh, moving to the next level for the two of you, I feel like with the two of swords, there is a new normal that you have to find, okay? You have to find your balance in terms of being together and living together and um, or moving forward, being in that new stage in the relationship. And so you kind of have to find the balance in that. And then with the four of pentacles, this is telling you that you have a very solid connection. You're building a, a life together. You're building a future together. You're feeling happy. You're feeling confident. You're feeling safe within this relationship. You're feeling abundant in terms of emotions, of feelings, of uh, potential for the relationship. And with the seven of pentacles, you continue to build upon this connection. You continue to work on it and, and keep it moving forward and work on it and keep um, pushing it towards uh, growth, expansion, taking it to the next level. But there is a sense of... Um, anticipation in the card so I feel like you really have to figure out what you want with the two of swords okay and the magician you have to figure out what you want so that you know which direction you want to go in you could also find yourself needing to choose between two people a fire sign and an earth sign and so there's a tug of war within you because you don't know which where to which way to go but you may end up choosing the earth sign, some of you, because they more they feel more trustworthy or they make you feel more safe and secure. And maybe the fire sign is not so stable, okay? So it's not someone you can rely on. Someone there's definitely a connection with and they're very passionate, but they're not someone you can rely on. The guidance card that you have is very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now so this again you know tying into the sense of anticipation i feel like this card is telling you that you're making your future what you want it to be this month in terms of love life okay you make it what you want it to be and it's tying in with the energy of the magician where it's all in your hands you make it what you want it to be and very soon there's also a sense of there's definitely progress happening there's definitely changes happening in your love life you have to decide what you want what you don't want what you deserve what you won't put up with you have to take that time and consider those things before you choose a direction because i feel like there's definitely a new um a new situation coming and new people coming into your life okay some choices that you have to make but you have to be sure of what you want in order to be able to make that choice you know easily in order for it not to overwhelm you to get too complicated okay to make you feel conflicted about it so take the time to figure out which direction you want to go in what you want to do in terms of who you want to meet what kind of person you want to meet what kind of relationship you want where you want your existing relationship to go because i feel like things are about to start going in that direction and it's all because 
you're making those choices and you're sticking to the plan, okay? You're making a choice and you're being confident about it and you're pushing things forward in that direction. You're working on that no matter what, okay? So I feel like, you know, if you've been single for a while, um, there's definitely prospects for you this month. You just have to be clear on what you want so that you don't get lost along the way and you get distracted off your path by players or people who you, you can't really rely on or people who don't really want the same thing you do. Um, but if you are single, I feel like set your sights high, okay? Set your standards and stick to your standards because towards, you know, in the in the second half of the month, I feel like there's definitely someone new coming in for you and this person is reliable. This is someone who is in line with what you want, okay? Someone who is um, able to make your dreams come true in terms of your love life, who can give you what you deserve, okay? It's all about your sense of worth and your sense of value and someone coming in who can appreciate you for who you are, okay? But you have to stay the course and make sure that you keep people who are just going to waste your time at a distance. For those of you in existing relationships, I feel like if there's some separation this month, you're going to make the best of it. You're going to focus on yourself. You're going to calm your nerves, calm your doubts, your fears, etc. You're going to find your footing, okay? Um... Focus on yourself for the month while your partner is away and they will be coming back towards the end of the month and you're going to have that reconnection, that reunion. They're not going to be away for a long time, I feel. And this is some sort of a test, okay? You can look at it as a test for your relationship and, you know, make it what you want it to be. Set the tone for the future, okay? So if every time they go away, you're going to have a fight, then this is when that starts. Or if every time they go away, you're going to spend that time to take care of yourself so that you are... Um, you know, catching up on your own projects and taking care of yourself and maybe focusing on your look, your wardrobe or anything like that. And so when your partner comes back home, you're happy and relaxed and, you know, embracing them and just having that reconnection with love and passion, then this is when that starts, okay? So you're setting the tone for a lot of things in your relationships um, this month. Okay, so there you have it. Okay, this is the reading that I have for you. I hope that it makes sense. And again, I hope it, it gives you some guidance or some peace of mind. Um, thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you have a really good month and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Hi, Leo. So this month when I look at your love scope, one of the first things I see is that you might be keeping a secret. Do you have a secret crush on somebody or are you liking somebody and either you haven't told them or you guys aren't quite out and about about it yet? Something like that could be going on. Now, quite the other way, something could be going on is that maybe you are just wanting a little bit more privacy in the love area of your life. You've got a lot of stuff happening in a very quiet place for you. So it's okay for you to be cool and to be quiet for right now because as I am telling you, when we get to the second half of July and all of these energies, Venus, Mercury, they all move into the sign of Leo along with the sun. My goodness, you get magnetic. My goodness, don't you get a boost of confidence. Don't you get this boost of energy and even beauty and vitality to your physical body that might make you really, really ready to get out there and to connect. Not to mention you have extra boost of Mars energy that stays with you all the way until August, giving you the confidence of Aries, of Scorpio, to move forward out into whatever it is you want for your romantic life. Maybe it's that person you've been keeping a secret. Maybe... Um, it's that you're ready to romance yourself into a different kind of career. Don't forget that you can point romance at more than just another person. So use the energy well. I love the private downtime you might need. So uh, hopefully whatever secrets in that bag gets to come out of the closet in a really delightful way this month. I love you, Leah.